What a good day. Hello. The weather is very good, and a lot of fresh air outside. Yes, I need to eat some fruits. There's an apple tree, let's get many of them. We can't reach that. Okay, use a stick. We got three apples. This reminds me of Isaac Newton, the physicist sitting under the apple tree. Wait, it had me thinking. Can we talk about physics? Does heavier objects fall faster than a lighter ones? Yes, I will explain. All objects such as heavy or light, accelerate at the same rate towards the Earth at 9.8 meters per second squared, that's the Earth's gravity. Why did objects fall at the same speed? That will happen when there is vacuum. Follow me friend. Okay. What is this? It's a vacuum chamber. If we place a feather and a metal cube into the vacuum chamber if there is air particles inside, the feather falls slowly, while the metal cube hit the ground first. If the air was removed, both of these objects fall at the same speed, and they hit the ground at the same time. Really, that looks very cool. A heavy object falls faster than a light object, because gravitational force is proportional to the mass of an object. However, the lighter objects fall slower, because of the opposing force of air resistance. The air resistance depends on the surface area and velocity. The less massive the object is, the more the force of air resistance slows the object down as it falls. As the heavier objects will have the greater gravitational force. Let's have an example, which one will hit the ground first. If we drop from 10 meter height to the ground, a 500 gram ball, or a bowling ball that weighs 5 kilograms. Let's drop in, 3, 2, 1. They both hit the ground at the same time, and at the same acceleration, less than 2 seconds. The acceleration of the object equals the gravitational acceleration. Let's talk about why falling objects reach terminal velocity. Terminal velocity, which is where their velocity remains constant, and they no longer accelerate. However, the air resistance will increase, as velocity increases, the drag acting upwards until it is equal to the force of gravity. And continue to fall at a constant velocity, and the object reaching its terminal velocity. If we drop a paper, and a 68 kilogram metal cube. The paper has more surface area, the paper reach its terminal velocity very quickly. The heavier object on the other hand, will experience a greater gravitational force, however, as the object accelerates, the drag it encounters increases, until it is equal to the force of gravity, and reaching its terminal velocity. The terminal velocity is greater, for greater weight. It takes longer for a heavier object to reach its terminal velocity, because its terminal velocity is greater. For a 500 gram basketball, it will reach terminal velocity at 10 or 15 seconds. For a metal cube weighs 150 pounds, it will reach terminal velocity at probably 1 minute and a half seconds. If we drop two objects with different mass with the same shape, size, and surface area, the 3 kg cube have less mass and require less air resistance to reach its equilibrium, resulting in a lower terminal velocity. Therefore, heavier objects have greater terminal velocity than lighter objects. Thus, the heavier objects fall faster than the lighter objects. Really, thanks for explaining. I forgot to tell that the more massive the object, the more inertia it is. Oh. I am very hungry, I need to go. See you next time. Have a good time.